Hey everyone, Lisa Chase here. As you all know, I am a physical therapist and I run Back to Normal Physical Therapy. And today what I wanted to do is just talk to you about why would you go see a physical therapist? Now, many of you who are hearing this may already have come to see us here at Back to Normal for Physical Therapy. And some of the obvious reasons are, you know, why most people come to see us are because they are in pain. They've had an injury, uh, trauma to a tissue, a broken bone, uh, ligaments that are sprained, muscles uh, that are either torn or sprained, um, disc injuries in their back. There can be a multitude of reasons, um, uh, either from an injury or that they've had a surgery, and now they need guidance on how to recover from that injury and how to get them back to doing the activities that they love. So that's an obvious reason. Um, you know, the, the other thing I think that most people don't really think about is, okay, so I feel pretty healthy. Why would I need to go see a physical therapist? Well, I would ask you, why do you go to the dentist every six months, or at least you should, every three to six months, you should be going to the dentist, right, to at least have your, your teeth cleaned as a maintenance, right, for prevention, or you go to hopefully to see your primary care at least once a year and they're doing kind of a full body check and they're doing some blood work to look at baseline things. Well, as a physical therapist, we can offer you really uh, our expertise in looking at your movements, looking at your exercise program, looking at your fitness, looking at how your body is feeling. There are oftentimes warning signs that we have that, that maybe we are not really paying attention to. So for example, say you're trying to stretch muscles and you just can't stretch the muscle. They're always feeling tight, like the hamstring or the front of the hip. And you just keep stretching, 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 but you're not getting anywhere. Well, that's usually an indication that that muscle's having to work overtime because something else is not working well. As a physical therapist, we can look at those movement patterns. We can look at how muscles are firing or meaning maybe how they're over firing or under firing and help you come up with strategies to improve those overall functions. We also have some great technologies like Nubi that help to find areas where maybe the nerves are not talking to the muscles and then reboot the nervous system and get things moving better so you can perform better in your fitness, you can perform better in your sport. So these are ways that we um, love to help you identify and come up with really great strategies so you can continue to do the things that you love and not get injured because these little things are little warning signs. It's just kind of like when you're driving down the street, I always tell my patients, it's like you're like, a, like an automobile, you're driving down the street and the yellow light kind of warning comes on, hey, check engine, check something, right? The red light's not on, the car's not smoking yet, but it's giving you a little warning sign. You don't want to keep driving until the car breaks down or until the red light comes on and it says, okay, we're not going any further. Well, our bodies will do the same thing and that's how we get injured. So uh, if we can help you, uh, you know where to find us here at Back to Normal, but until then, keep moving.